What's up all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and today I'm going to go over a list of the out of print Marvel Epic Collections. So please stay tuned. And welcome back all you mentees. Now before I get started I just want to say please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and enjoy these type of videos. We put out videos every day. Now I've done a list of out of print Marvel Omnis last week Today, I'm focusing on the Marvel Epic Collections. Uh, this is the latest list. And before I go any further, I do want to thank my brother, Curtis, for <laughs> helping me build this list and making it so much easier for me when I had to do it by myself. So thank you, Curtis. He's joined me on my show several times. You can hear his voice on the Marvel Epic podcast. And he also has a Facebook group, the Marvel Epic um, group. I think it's what it's called. I'm part of it. Uh, but anyway... So I'll be doing a list of DC out of print Omnis and Absolutes next week. But today let's focus on these Epic Collections because I know a lot of you all have been getting into these Epic Collections in the probably the last couple of years that I've been showcasing them on the channel more and more. So let's go ahead and get started because we got quite a few. The last time I did this, it wasn't this many. Now we have quite a few. All right. So, kicking off the list, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2, Great Responsibility. It's again out of print. It's had one reprinting. Amazing Spider-Man No More, that's Volume 3. Uh, volume 7, The Goblin's Last Stand. That one was a big shocker because that one went out of print quick. I don't think it even lasted two months on the stands. Avengers Defenders War, that's Volume 7. Avengers, this one's probably one of the oldest one that's been out of print. The Final Threat. Man, I hope when they reprint it, they print pages 190 and 191 in the right order. So if you have that first printing, those are out of order, just like myself. Uh, Avengers Volume 17, Judgment Day. The Collection Obsession, that's Volume 21. And 22, Operation Galactic Storm. That's a lot of Avengers. And Avengers West Coast Volume 1, How the West Was Won. Black Panther Volume 2, Revenge of the Black Panther. And moving on to Captain America, we have Volume 1. Captain America Lives Again, Volume 3, Bucky Reborn, Volume 4, Hero or Hoax, Volume 9, Dawn's Early Light, Volume 15, The Bloodstone Hunt, and The Superior Strategium, and that is Volume 17. One of the things that I've been asked is, Marvel going to collect the Golden Age Captain America in epic format? And right now, I don't think so, um, or at least I haven't heard any of that but i will let you all know as soon as i hear something and moving on to daredevil volume 2 is out of print mike murdoch must die volume 14 this is one of Anne ascentis this is heart of darkness volume 19 root of evil and hopefully when that one comes back it won't be the quad uh, group that does it because that one had just a really bad uh printing doctor strange volume 1 master of the mystics arts and volume 3 a separate reality my goodness, Fantastic Four. Volume 2 is out of print, Master Plan of Doctor Doom. Volume 4 is out of print, Mystery of the Black Panther. Volume 21, The New Fantastic Four. I didn't know that one was out of print. Um, Incredible Hulk. Volume 1, Man or Monster. Volume 2, The Hulk Must Die. And Volume 21. I know this one's been out of print for a while. Uh, and this is one of the earliest ones. The Fall of the Pantheon. And then Iron Man number 15. Now, a lot of his, like the Golden Avenger and the enemy within have been reprinted so only one is out of print and that's volume 15 doom at this time i just want to remind you all to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet we put out videos every day we can be found on redbubble where you can get t-shirts and uh stickers of our logo great way to support the channel and also patreon if you can do so and thank you to our existing patrons. Now, let's get back to that list. Marvel 2-in-1 Volume 1 is out of print. Cry Monster, Master Kung Fu Volume 1, Weapon of the Soul. And a big shout out to my brother, Gabriel Iglesia, for letting me know where to find a copy of this for myself. And they canceled my order. So thank you so much for trying, brother. Uh, Moon Knight Volume 1, Bad Moon Rising. Moon Knight Volume 2, Shadows of the Moon. Moon Knight Volume 3, Final Rest. So all three of the Moon Knight books are now out of print. I think when I first did this video late last year, only one was out of print. Power Man and Iron Fist, Volume 1, Heroes for Hire. Punisher, Volume 2, Circle of Blood. Punisher, 3, Kingpin Rules. Now we have a lot of Star Wars that are out of print. Uh, Star Wars Infinite, Legacy Volume 1, New Republic, Volumes 1 and 4, Old Republic, Volume 1, and Rise of the Sith, Volume 1, are out of print. Moving on to Thor, another group of books that are out of print for this character. 
Volume 1, The God of Thunder. Volume 3, The Wrath of Odin. Volume 4, To Wake the Mangog. Volume 5, The Fall of Asgard. And really, I mean, those are the first five books that are out of print with the exception of Volume 2. It's a lot. And Volume 17, Immortal Flesh. Wolverine. My Wolverine. My character. Volume 1 is out of print. We knew about that one, Matterport Knights. But Volume 2, Back to the Basics, has now gone out of print. X-Factor Volume 1. Now, X-Factor doesn't have that very many uh, epics to begin with. But Volume 1, Genesis and, and Apocalypse, that's gone out of print. And then X-Men, of course. Now, we've had some reprints of these um, late last year, early this year. But now these are the ones that are out of print, and that is The Sentinels Live. That's Volume 3. Volume 4, It's Always Darkest Before the Dawn. That's the one that kind of collects all the issues that are not X-Men in between the X-Men cancellation and Giant Size Number 1. It's a great little way to find out what happened, what was going on with uh, Hank McCoy and how he became the Blue Hairy Beast. Volume 17, Dissolution and Rebirth. Man, that's the Jim Lee one. And Volume 19, the Mutant Genesis, which kicks off X-Men number one from volume two with Jim Lee and Chris Claremont. Now, some of these books are still available from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the list. I will also make sure to put this in the description in case you don't want to watch the whole video, but I guess if you made it this far, maybe I should have done that at the beginning. Or maybe it was just my strategy to get people to watch the whole video. I don't know. But regardless, thank you all for watching. Uh, the, res the reason that I do this is not to drive fear in people to go out and buy all these. But there are several people that collect only certain characters. So if you're collecting Thor, those are the ones you want to keep an eye out on because they are out of print. That means that they're out of print at the distribution center. And the places that are selling them online or your comic book store, that's all they have. Once they sell out, they can't get any more until they're reprinted. Now, Marvel has stated before that all the number ones are going to be evergreen and then they also do stealth reprints of other um epic collections however what i have noticed and what they've told me is that all of the reprints usually are to the direct market because they love people going to comic book stores so the direct market is the only place to get reprints so places like cheap graphic novels in stock trades tales of wonder or your local comic book shop will be the only place to get them when they're reprinted now i know my subscribers from other countries have asked well what about us How, we don't have the accessibility like you all do to online retailers um, but i know comic book stores from overseas can also get them and i guess anybody can order them from over here to sell on amazon i'm not really sure that's something i've been uh, wanting to talk to marvel about but maybe on our next phone call, I can ask them about those reprints. Um, but yeah, that's that's the list. Um, let me know in the comments down below uh, what you were able to find, what you're looking for. Sometimes when I go out, I hope to do comic book hunting again when I go to different cities. Whenever all this pandemic is over, um, sometime sometime this year, that I can look for these books for people. But yes, let me know in the comments down below what your most wanted ones are too that you've missed out on or what kind of character you want to collect but most of the books are out of print or if you've switched teams and you've gone from team omnibus to team marvel epic collection love to know all those comments down below please don't forget to hit that like subscribe button uh ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live we do have a live video tonight where old reader new reader we are reviewing black widow by mark wade and chris samney so join us for that that's at eight o'clock eastern standard time tonight and more importantly, please, everybody stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love to all of you.